Hey guys, so I finally have decided to stream. It's been a long time since I've done this last. Uh, so I will probably be rusty. There will be moments where I say nothing because I forget that I'm actually being listened to. But I recently got Rival Stars and I was really wanting to play it. I first got the game on my iPad, so I'm one of the f like mobile players when it first came out. And then I kind of got tired of playing it for a while because it was very like money grabby. But I did not buy Farlap when it came out on the PlayStation. So I finally convinced myself to uh, essentially buy the game on Steam. So I'm having to get my steam up because I am not prepared ever. What else is new? But yeah, so I'll probably lose for the first while. Well, I still try to figure things out. But we'll see how it goes. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Having to see if you can actually hear me over this music. Okay, so it's kind of loud, so I'm gonna get into the game. And then we'll turn the music down a little bit so you can hear me a little bit better. story because I feel like that's going to be the like best experience. I'm super excited. I love horse racing games, but there have not been a lot in a very long time, so I'm actually really stoked to play this game. And the favorite gets a magnificent start. Beauty's suspicion also up the front. Nocturnal Rider in second, feeling the pressure from Tricky Dazzler. Free Dancer in fourth place, neck and neck with Ocean's Wind. Tricky Dazzler in second spot, Beauty's Suspicion pushing past horses. Yeah. And then it's Shiny Cherub, head and head with Rare Midnight. The race continues with Destiny's Dream. Dream Dimple is coming with a huge run. Beauty's suspicion charging through. Shiny Cherub with a brilliant turn of foot. Once again, in the front spot. As expected, the favorite taking the finishing on a high note. That's what the papers said of your grandfather's final victory. And it was well deserved. But I was there. I knew the reason he did it was for the thrill, the sport, and especially family. Your father was already comfortable 
in his own saddle and making a name for himself. But when your proud grandfather strolled on the stage, leaving him alone in the sun, oh, he took off like an untamed wind. But then, of course, You know how hard it was on the family. But your grandfather took it the hardest. For all his achievements, in the end, he considered himself a failure. I still believe in your family's legacy, despite everything. If you could, if you would be persuaded, please come back. I believe Together, we can return this homestead to the height of its glory days. Yours faithfully, Francis Kwan. Okay, that was kind of sad. I do remember this intro, though. Uh, so that's basically the same as when I played on iPad. All right, you're here. I'm glad you answered my letter. With you at the helm, I believe we can work this place back to its former glory. Yes, we can. Hopefully. What we need is a fresh start. It's your ranch now. You should pick its new name and logo. Fine. Oh, I love the mare and foal. Those are so cute. That's actually really cute, too. Okay, I think we're gonna go with the mare and foal. I love foals, they're so cute. They're so fun to mess with at work. Um, we'll do that one. And I am a sucker for that color of blue. But we'll see what else we have. that I do like that the most though I think so far okay I think we're gonna go with this one and we're gonna do this is me being a nerd and going back to Resident Evil for the Ashfords the Ashford family. There we go. So cute. I love it. Okay, what should we name our jockey? that name a lot, so we'll go with that. It feels like a new beginning. Let's head to the stables to meet our stable manager, Sophie. Good day. <laughs> I'm Sophie. Nice to finally meet you. Let's get straight to it and grab a horse from the market. Okay. So, choose a horse. Um, onion centipede or dinner difference. 
like these names. Uh, I like the bird catcher spots on Dinner Difference, so we're gonna go with her. She's cute. Dinner Difference looks like a real beaut. Alright, see you later. Francis has another goal for you. Oh good, I was just looking for you. There's a race at the local track we should enter. Let's pick out some new jockey silks for our ranch. Okay, so we already bought our horse. And we've chose our silks, so now we're going to go compete in a race. Four races to get into your horse's preferences. The inner difference has a middle pack position preference, meaning she likes to be amongst the pack. So let's go back and race. This is very similar to Gallop Racer in that you essentially chose, or you didn't choose your horse, but um, your horse had different pack positions in that they ran their best if they were kept in that pack position. So it'll be interesting if they changed it in here. Because when it first came out on iPad, if you didn't really matter, they always were front runners, basically, no matter what. Even if they were supposed to be closers, like in the very back, they still just always like to run in the front for some reason. So, I'm interested to see how they do it this time. I will also advise that I am really bad at quick time stuff. So I will probably make you rage with They're ready to go, ready to go, ready to go. at three my hopes. awful uh, very fragment the one to beat skills. dinner difference it's only with an outside chance today. Ooh, I like that horse in the back. Number six is really pretty. Gates are open and they're off. Okay, A we did great good. start from synthetic yeah. slipper. Probably Nine not because Synthetic Slipper, still in the lead. Sprint statement to reach your preferred position. And here. Flash this one again with a perfect Very. Synthetic Slipper dictating the pace. Captain Cannon wants the front. Don't. That's all that really matters, honestly. <laughs> okay, good work. We'll see what we earn for completing that goal. As your grandfather used to say, everybody has to start somewhere. A great result for our first outing. Honestly, yeah. Like, I'm not, I'm gonna take it. However, if we want to compete at higher levels, we need to train our horses. Horses gain experience through racing, which allows them to be trained. Let's go meet our new training manager, Trenton. Hi, I'm TJ. Mr. Kwan hired me to get the training program back on track. Let's head to the training facilities. Training horses requires items. Luckily received one from the last race, so let's do it. Okay, we're gonna train. Every time you train, dinner difference gets stronger. Let's train their other stats. This is so nice compared to the iPad version. 
on iPad, it was timed. So you would go to train your horse and it would take like 20 minutes, 40 minutes, up to like hours. So it's nice that you can just click and get it done. That's really nice. Alrighty, we can do that one. And we got an achievement. First steps. Alright, that's the basics of training. Remember, we've got to keep training our horses to compete at higher levels. We're off to a good start, but there's more to do. Yeah. Alright, so we increased our prestige. We're gonna unlock seal on medals. Medals, meadows. Okay. So now we have a lot more quests or goals that we can do. So rather than buying horses, I'm keen to get our own team going. We'll need a foaling stall for that. To help with income, I've restarted the grazing business we used to run. We'll get periodic payments that we can collect from the homestead. We're starting to make an impression on the local scene. Let's build off that success. Let's enter two more races and see how we do. And before I can train your horses any further, we should clean up our facilities. Okay, so we'll do the falling stall first. All right, fall stalls. They allow you to breed new horses. We'll do that. And we'll breed our horsey. All right, let's browse the available studs to find the best pairing for your mare. Parents affect the grade chance, preferences, and look of their offspring. <coughs> Okay, so we can't actually breed yet. It may let us just because. But it doesn't look like it'll let us breed. Okay, so we have Cheap Oasis. We have a 30% chance for a, level, for a two star. And let's see their stats. 38, 38, and 40. So they're actually lower than ours except for an acceleration. And then we have Priceless Stranger, so 40, 39, 39. So better overall in stats. And still same chance for two stars. <coughs> let us no. Okay. So we're not gonna buy that. We I don't wanna waste any money. So we'll actually come back in a bit to breed. <coughs> little signs there, that's so cute. So we have payouts from them grazing. We'll collect those. We've completed a goal for us. It's a decent start, but soon we'll need to fund some substantial expansions. Hey, Ambus! I didn't even notice my chat. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm just like completely focused on the game. <laughs> I have to get back to used to like reading chat and playing a game at the same time. So remember to keep collecting income from the homestead to help pay for everything. Because everything is expensive. Upgrades. Now you hear it's time to focus our efforts on restoring the ranch. I think I'll do this because it'll get us more income. <laughs> yes, I love being bugged. There is no such thing as too much pestering, so I am all for it. I was actually going to stream earlier, but then my internet went out, so I was like, okay, I'll just go take a nap instead. <laughs> this is looking much better. We clean up the house and get rid of those ugly vines. Well, what if the vines were ugly? Okay, upgrade, upgrade. So one thing I need to do is figure out, like, how to get rid of the, like, lag between chat and talking because it seems like there's a 10 second delay which seems like a lot it may not actually be it's just like I feel like I'm behind
Yeah, I noticed that you got on for a little while. And then I think I was out in town or something, and I came back and you weren't. I was like, oh, well, at least she's getting like a good nap or something. <laughs> oh, we're getting love back into the old homestead. Let's stream the low latency. Okay, I will do that when I hop off for, to, for the next time I do it. Low latency. Yeah, I'll for sure do that because it just seems like a long lag. <laughs> you mean you don't like grinding Star Stable? That game can get annoying because you're trying to like make progress and it just holds you back so much in terms of, oh, you have to wait. Or, oh, you have to go across the whole map to go do this. And then you have to come back. <laughs> yeah, Star Sable is definitely not one of those games where you can just, like... Time you out. Stop spinning cap. <laughs> it straight out timed you out. Jeez, aggressive much. <laughs> Nightbot does not like you. That's something else to look for with Nightbot is like it's a little over the top. You must obey the law. The law of the land. The law of Pony Land. I literally just made a note that was like Nightbot. Little aggressive. Might need to fix that. I think on one of my characters I'm like 19 or something. I'm pretty up there, but I've had that account for a long time. You just want a Frisian? I like the Frisians, but I don't think I would see myself like getting one. Like they're pretty, but I don't know. The next horse I want, I want one of the fjords. I know they're going on sale. Yeah, yeah, so that account is probably like since I was in maybe like high school. So it's probably like at least seven or eight years old. I know, I saw the little fjord in your uh, little preview and I was like, oh, you got a fjord. I love them. They're so cute. They're so small, they just like, oh, they're cuddly. <laughs> they look really soft. So small and soft. Very pettable, Pat Pat. Yeah, I love the draft horses. Um, there are some really pretty ones that I really want. Because they're so big. Yeah, I definitely would recommend to always get them when they're on sale. Because, like, if you pay full price, it's not a waste. But... It just, it's a lot of star coins, and you don't get them very often. Like, you get a hundred a week, but that's like two and a half months for one horse usually, and it's just 
Oof. Oh, you got the Paso? See, you got all the cool horses. I have a lot of the, like, older ones. But I do also still have, like, a lot of the, um, like, special horses, too, though. Okay, so. I can't see, like, a fourth of my screen because my cat is laying in front of it. back yes there is a back button <clears throat> oh the rainbow shire that's one that one's cool I have a lot of the like winter horses like the ones that you get for Christmas um, there were two that came out that were like Yeah! Gay pride pony. But there were two that were like based on trees that I also got and they were like a one time deal. So I'm really glad that I had saved up enough star coins for them. See the button. There's a cat in the way. Morris looks really depressed. It's kind of sad. It's like I don't want to do this, Mom. Don't make me do it. <laughs> it's like, <laughs> uh, I was essentially just being like, I have some a lot of the special horses, like the Christmas ones. And, and Nightbot is on it, man. They're just like, hey, Boots go Brain join Brain all of this. The but the there's scene. also two horses that Deep are like based on trees. And they were a one-time thing that I got. So I'm really glad I had the star coins for those guys. Gate Spring. Ah, the almost. Is the I'm really Brain. bad at quick time events. Then as the race moves on, it's Millennial Trivia. Inner difference in second place. Boots brainway breathing down their neck, heads up and down. You better not say that you're depressed. I will make sure that you are not. Marker, it's millennial trivia. Stylish dancer moving forward, pushing hard in front of Boots Brainway. Head and head with amused hard bar, closely followed by Smoke Blush. Millennial trivia holds the lead. Stylish dancer in second. Just behind it's Boots Brainway. Going <laughs> They do look very depressed. In fifth spot, just in front of like not even gonna lie, those horses look like super depressed. Boots Brainway in third. One link behind it's the smoke blush. Stone jam. Go! Hey! I won! I thought I was gonna lose, because I saw myself going oh, I didn't win. Never mind. Smoke I got so excited I thought I won! Dinner difference. In second. Third at the line. Stylish dancer. <laughs> Nightbot! Okay, I am turning a Nightbot off whenever I'm done. Because, like... It is so mad. Can I do that while I'm streaming? Let me see if I can make Nightbot chill out. <laughs> okay. Let's see. Can I untime you out? Okay, I untimed you out. Can I change? While I have streams. You know what? I will ban Nightbot for the time being. For being annoying. <laughs> it solves it for right now. <laughs> A 
Warte, Gigi, Irmo. Gigi. Yeah, I made Nightbot chill out for a little bit. Nightbot is taking a nap because it's grumpy. <laughs> yes, you only get one emote. You cannot spam your emotes. <laughs> yeah, the horse. Oh, that's really pretty. Oh. Yeah, I figured I would just stream. At least until Seth got home. Because he's at work right now. Ooh, that mirror is really pretty. I don't need to waste my money. No, don't need to waste my money. <laughs> yeah, so you can do that because I made Nightbot take a timeout. I like the bird catcher spots though. is trained. So we're gonna try to race again. My horse will eventually win. Hey, we have the best dogs. Yeah. Oh. They are kinda like, yeah. But they're so cute, the little blue catcher spots. Excitement building here at Sewell Meadows. Dinner difference, the horse that punters favor. My money don't jiggle jiggle, hit fall. I'd like to see you wiggle wiggle, for sure. Make you wanna dribble dribble, you know, ride it in my fear. You really have to see it, six feet two in a compact. No I'm slack. not paying I'm attention, I'm dancing. Go back and got a knack to relax in my mind. So it's a red, red one. I was getting <laughs> so distracted because I was just sitting here dancing to that. Jealousy pistol striving forward. Still going, it's shimmering smell. Summery sapphire in second position. A length behind, it's group biscuits. Shimmery smell continuing to show the way. Summery sapphire wants the front, just in front of dinner difference. Shimmering smell. Yeah, so I'm so affiliate. I can't have on the, the sound dinner difference. be redeemable for the channel. They run for the money. So dinner difference. I guess I'll just have to ground. watch for people like Shimmering smell them. keeping the lead. Dinner difference. Happy where it is. Just behind its hairy caramel. Ah. Hi. Yeah, I got this game a few weeks ago. Uh, I played the iPad version when it first came out. But I'm super excited because this isn't very, like, money hungry. You can actually just play the game and not have to wait 40 minutes in between. Alright, so we ran races. <laughs> Flatulent Spy. That's the best name I've ever heard, honestly. Some of these names that I've seen like people use for their horses. It's a little much. Okay, do I have... Okay, I can breed my horsey now. I want to fool! I want to fool! Give me a baby! Oh, stars. Okay, I'm gonna go with this one. What does my baby look like? 
Oh my gosh, she's so cute! Ah! I love her. And more stalls. Look how cute they are! Oh! Yes, I will definitely try a multiplayer race. I will probably lose, but it's worth it. Alright, so we got our baby. We got our horsey baby. What do you look like, Grunt? I love hers. Arrogant bobble. <laughs> okay, I like that name. It's a stupid name, but I love it. <laughs> Arrogant bobble. <laughs> we have dinner difference and Arrogant bobble. That's awesome. Okay. <laughs> But yeah, so far I'm really Waiting enjoying the, the game. At Sewell Meadows. I difference, the favorite was like an super lineup. bombed for so long because there weren't any good horse racing games. And then this came out and I was like, ooh, yes. Horsey racing. They're away. Like Dinner Difference oh is off to a fabulous start. Hunters would be happy with themselves early. Dinner Difference is also in the run. Dinner Difference in control. Volcano Voyage in second place, just ahead of Baron. Okay, so for those of you who play, is this like the app where if they want to run in the front, you just go ahead and let them run in the front? Pounding down the course, it's Volcano Voyage. Baron Blossom in second. From Dinner Difference, neck and neck with Radiant Velvet. Edge Pepper in eighth, then Dawn Ball. Volcano Voyage still in first position. Dinner Difference pushing past horses. A length away, it's Baron Blossom, putting up a challenge to Radiant Velvet. The race continues with Volcano Voyage, Dinner Difference, Burning Stamina. Next, it's Radiant Velvet. Still going, it's Volcano Voyage, Dinner Difference, in second place. Two lengths away, it's Baron Blossom, stride for stride with Radiant Velvet. They set sail for home, it's Volcano Voyage. Dinner difference, struggling from Radiant Velvet. In the straight, it's Volcano Voyage. Dinner difference in first position. Volcano Voyage in second. Did I win? I won! Yes. I got my first win. Radiant Velvet in third. Okay. Because, like, on iPad. <laughs> when I played, like even if you had like the preferred position back in the pack or as a closer, sometimes they would still like end up in the front and you would actually be more likely to win if you just let them run in front than if you actually held them back. Thank you! Yes, good game. Good race. Oh, I want to go upgrade the full stall. Well, that's depressing. I do understand, though. There was a while I did not have medical insurance. 
So I actually would go and work with horses on the ground instead of riding. Yeah, I totally get that. Front runners are usually super easy. Like in any game I've ever played, front runners are just usually a lot less work to deal with. Okay, they want us to race a three oaks train. Three thousand. Upgrade this training facility. Okay. Mm, we'll do first all last actually. So homestead. Upgrade. I do enjoy that you don't have to sit around and wait as much with this compared to the mobile version. Oh, we got a little forklift. I want to drive a forklift. Just put put around. I do not know if they cover pant ants at vet school. Yes, and no microtransaction is super nice, honestly. Going with the ants, though, I kind of feel like they would, in a way. Like, you could technically have, maybe a parasitologist would know about them? Hmm. I don't know. So what we'll do is we'll go upgrade the training facilities. Aha, fancy saddles. Yeah, on the mobile version it's just microtransactions everywhere. Enjoy my horsey racing. Okay. So now our pony is good. So they want to focus now on the new horse. We need three oaks. Race two. Alright, so we need to do this some more. So we'll actually use our new horse. That way we can get it leveling up. Yeah, it's really worth it, honestly. Um, I don't want to lose too much money. I'm awful at betting, uh, as we saw with our dino fight the other day, where I put like a hundred channel points on Mona, and Mona died first, so I will see how this goes. I don't wanna. I wanna keep my pony. So They're ready to go He's at three oaks. oaks. All eyes will be on the favorite, unlikely admiral. Arrogant, Arrogant bubble trying to surprise the field. Arrogant bubble. <laughs> I love that name. And they're off. Fine Fury. Away well. Also running well is Arrogant Bubble. 
Continuing around the track, it's Arrogant Bubble. Opportunity Equation, up against them. Regular Bonfire, in seventh. Unlikely Admiral, next. Fine Fury, the leader. Deadline Touch, moving up the field. Battling with Arrogant Bobble, followed by Opportunity Equation. Unlikely Admiral, in six, pushing hard in front of Hypnotic Picture. Nostril Bobble? Yes, keep Fine it. Fury. We have Deadline Arrogant touch, Bobble and Nostril round. Bobble. Unlikely Admiral, scraping the paint off the rails. One length away, it's Opportunity Equation. They're gearing up for the finish. Unlikely Admiral is coming home with a rush. Arrogant Bobble, not in its ideal position. They straighten up the home, and it's no, 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 Arrogant Bobble. I'm now going to get a horse one day and name it Arrogant Bobble. Okay, now they should do better. My cat is still like half of my screen. So I'm just like randomly clicking, hoping that I'm clicking on the right stuff. I believe in you, arrogant bobble, as I bet less. Horses and jockeys ready for the off at Three Oaks. Arrogant Bobble looking to make bookies unhappy. <laughs> the field is away. A great start for the favourites. Badger's best seller right behind. Arrogant Bobble running for fun. Ship Trombone in second spot, trying to brush off Badger's best seller. On their back is Captain Proud. Arrogant Bobble striking the front. Travelling underneath horses Captain is Bobble. Badger's best seller. Dueling with Captain Proud. Then as the race moves on, it's Badger's best seller. Air Rebellion with a brilliant turn of foot. Arrogant Bobble in third place. A length behind, it's Captain Proud. Continuing around the track, it's Badger's bestseller. On the inside, it's Air Rebellion, neck and neck with Arrogant Bobble. As they straighten for home, it's Badger's bestseller. Air Rebellion traveling on the fence. The final sprint is on, and it's Arrogant Bobble. Air Rebellion in second spot. Arrogant Bobble takes the race. Hey! Air Rebellion, Go Bobble! Badger's bestseller gets the third place. Yeah. race now. Oh, I have to do it one more time. 
Never mind. Now I feel confident that they will win. And now watch them not win. Excitement building here at Three Oaks. Arrogant Bobble is where all the money is in this race. The starter gets them underway, and the favourite is driving the pace right from the go. Dust down, right up there with the leader. Arrogant Bobble in first spot. Dust down, wants the front. Monkey's Rock in third spot, trying to fend off. Will yeah, benefit. we got this. Lake Popcorn. It's because I have the best cheer squad, obviously. Still going, it's Arrogant Bobble. Dust down in second position. Just behind, it's Well Benefit. A length away, it's Pride Wilt. And then it's Lake Popcorn. Dust down at the front. Well Benefit getting past. A length behind, it's Pride Wilt. Dust down, piloting the field. Just ahead of Well Benefit. Then Tinsel Fragment. Pounding down the course, it's Arrogant Bobble. Dust down in second position. Well Benefit in third position. Putting in a strong bid with Tinsel Fragment. Arrogant Bobble keeping the front. Dust down, what's the front? I need to well, add like a sound bit that's like Yay or cheery. I don't have anything that's like that right now. So I need to do that. Like, don't do it! Now we can go do that race. <laughs> that honestly sounds amazing. Be like, look, I'm done. You just do it. mobile game. I think I've done my second rival race is where I stopped. Because at that point the training and all that just became so much. It, it wasn't worth it at that point. See, that is my goal in life. I just want pretty horses. That's all I care about. It's just a pretty ponies. I'm honestly also very excited because I've seen like I think it's mobile version that's Waiting getting updates the sooner. But they're getting like the cross country and all that. I'm race. super stoked. Mushroom. I love that. Off they go. A great start for the favorite, Arrogant Bubble. Going fast on the outside. It's Amnesia Comforts. Arrogant Bobble keeps the lead. Disappointing Wednesday in second place from Amnesia Comforts. Closely followed by Crush Hates, Weirdo Guy in seventh position, then Curious Coast. 800 to run, it's Disappointing Wednesday. Arrogant Bobble not looking comfortable. A length away, it's Amnesia Comforts. Toe to toe with Crush Hates. Next, it's Platypus Pistol. Weirdo Guy in last. 
600 to race. It's disappointing Wednesday. Arrogant Bobble in second. I Crush really like that. Picks Christmas. up the bit just in front of Platypus Histel. Arrogant Bobble leading the field. Disappointing Wednesday in second place. On their back is Curious Host. One length behind, it's Crush Case. The race continues with Arrogant Bobble. Disappointing Wednesday in second, followed by Curious Host. At the top of the straight, it's Arrogant Bobble. Disappointing Wednesday in second spot. Arrogant Bobble in the lead. Look at us go. Place, I know, I sound like Valley Chick. With my ADD, you will learn that I will change voices a lot. It just helps keep myself entertained. Enjoying being able to just sit and race horses. It's really fun. It's also really pretty. Like, because a lot They're of games aren't able to do meadows. horses super well. High hopes for the favorite so I'm very happy bubble. to see, like, anatomy correct. Like, anatomically correct horses. Like in Skyrim, it looks like people literally walking around in a horse suit. Racing! Arrogant Bobble getting away to a great start. Frosted Flattery was right there. Arrogant Bobble showing the way. Sweetheart Style next. Sparring with Extra Silence. Putting in a strong bid with Frosted Flattery. Pounding down the course, it's City Time. Frosted Flattery overtaking. Arrogant Bobble in third. Followed by Sweetheart Style. City Time leading the field. Just has a margin over Frosted Flattery. Arrogant Bobble in fifth place. The race continues with Sweetheart Style. City Time in second spot. On their back is Frosted Flattery. Stride for stride with Arrogant Bobble. Trivia Search in eighth spot. Just behind its reliable try. Sweetheart Style is the front runner. Putting up a challenge to Frosted Flattery. Toe to toe with City Time. Sweetheart Style, still in first place. Arrogant Bobble, burning stamina, pushing for position. Frosted Flattery, in third spot, just has a margin over City Time. Arrogant Bobble, the leader. Sweetheart Style, in second position. And then it's Frosted Flattery. As they come towards the line, it's Arrogant Bobble. Sweetheart Style, wants the front, closely followed by Thumb Trout. Yeah! Arrogant Bobble, salutes first. Extra of silence, second. Frosted and like bubble. the third place. Bubble video. <laughs> I remember it being like super easy and then suddenly like with the rival it just gets really difficult if I remember right. Okay, so now let's maybe do the full stall. Buy a horse stall. Thank you. 
Okay. Oh, I see. I want you to sell a horse. Should I just sell dinner difference? Because, I mean, they're at max potential. So, like... Yeah, no. They're not gonna get much further in life. For hours of game time, I still refuse to let him have a name. <laughs> I mean, honestly, I don't blame you. Okay, I guess I'm just gonna sell Dinner Difference and then breed a horse out of Bobble. Does that sound like a good idea? Or am I making a bad mistake? Sell her, and then get a full out of bobble. Just Bobble. <laughs> Bobble has our hearts. Alright, peace. Bye, dinner. Okay, and then what we'll do is race some more things with Bobble, get some money, and train. I didn't even click that button. And train her up so that we can get a baby out of her. A baby Bobble. I'm not quite as rich as Gnome. Yes, I will name it Baby Bobble. That's his new name, it's Baby Bobble. It is the Bobble legacy. Every, every foal from now on, out of this line, will have the name Bobble in it somewhere. Horses and jockeys ready for the off at Sewell Meadows. Punters hoping for a comfortable win for the favorite, Arrogant Bobble. <laughs> They're off. Rusty Rider is off to a good start. Cross Cat taking the inside line. Rusty Rider on the head of affairs. Haystack Bandits wants the front. Arrogant Bobble putting the pressure on. And then it's Request Bandits. Rusty Rider continues to show the way. Haystack Bandits in second position, just ahead of 
Cross cats hits up and down with arrogant gobble. Yes, we should Rusty all play this game. Leading with each other. Cross cats in second place. Fighting for position with haystack bands. Continuing around the track, it's Rusty Rider. Arrogant gobble to the outside. Cross cats in third position from exotic apology. Rusty Rider still in the first position. Two lengths behind, it's Cross Hat. Arrogant Bubble leading the charge. Rusty Rider in second place. Cross Hat next. In the straight, it's Arrogant Bubble. Haystack back to the withering run. Arrogant Bubble, punched out and won it. Just holds on. Rusty Rider, <laughs> Cross Hat in third. Flatulent Revenge. Honestly, what does Flatulent Revenge look like? I need to know this. Like, does Flatulent Revenge stand out from the crowd? So yeah, so I have the bobble line, and you have the flatulent line. We are making the most out of this game. Okay, but it's pretty cool that they have a pool. Those things are really awesome. I've seen them like work horses in them before and it's really cool to watch. We keep reading racing. So does training affect breeding at all, or is it just the star tiers that matter with breeding? Because it says level 1 stats. Back. My mother's struggling to open her bottle of wine. That's really why people have kids. Bottle opening. Yes! Look, you have to have a use for your child. Obviously. That's how that works. You have to be useful whenever they need it. Even if it's opening their bottle of wine. And then, training doesn't matter for breeding. But the stats do. For level 1, you want 42 stats all around to be perfect. Okay. So we want to get as close to 40. T Ooh, that one's pretty nice then. Ooh, that one is very, very nice. Oh, that one's expensive though. Hm. That one's also expensive. Okay, I am too poor for this. So I'll need to race to make some money. Horses are expensive. So I don't got that kind of dough on me. I have really bad odds on that one. So 
This one's capped though. Interesting. So we can't place a bet. Also, horse can I, his coach next to not work here. I do know that from the app. I, yeah. I dealt with that in the app and I was like, how did I get, like, this color horse? <laughs> how did this happen? Excitement building here at Sewell Meadows. Arrogant Bobble, the one to beat. That would be one thing. It'd be interesting if, like, as they develop the game more, they could create, like, a realistic mode where you have realistic oh, color genetics. Arrogant Bobble takes the lead. Wind Blade is also in the firing line. Wind Blade maintaining the lead. Then Turbulent Illusion. Trying to beat back Rhythm Rush. Then as the race moves on, it's Turbulent Illusion. Wind Blade in second. Aquarium Alarm in fifth position. Successful Sponge is the front runner. Arrogant Bobble on the fence. Next, it's Turbulent Illusion. Aquarium Alarm in fourth. Putting up a challenge to Rhythm Rush. Lazy Lullaby in seventh spot. Chaos Luck next. Still going, it's Arrogant Bobble. I'm just gonna let her run now. Successful in charged. second spot, pushing hard in front of Wind Blade. A length behind, it's Turbulent Illusion, followed by Aquarium Alarm. Arrogant Bobble, still in the lead. Successful Sponge, in second. Next, it's Wind Blade. Arrogant Bobble, leading. Successful I see what they mean by a little bit too experienced for their behind, it's Wind Blade. As they begin to spring towards the line, it's Arrogant Bobble. Uh, it's kind of far ahead. Arrogant Bobble salutes by a huge margin. Successful sponge in second, third at the line. Okay, so we got 2,375. <laughs> so we can go train her, and then we should be good for the other races. So at least, like, keep up with horses. Yeah, so we have more of a chance now. Is really cute. She has a blanket up here in front of the, for the monitor, start at and she's curled up. Carnivorous haste, favorite for the win. Bookie's hoping for an upset. <laughs> Arrogant bobble, not in with much of a chance. <laughs> Stalls back, racing. Keys charisma shows good early tone. Down and Dawn is showing early speed. At the 1300, it's down Dawn. Mary B wants the front. Being pushed by Keys Charisma. Yeah, the betting thing makes sense now. Because it's like... Pace, contending with Calico Chuckle. Mental Blast in ninth spot. The horse is uh, kind of far up there, comparatively. At the 1000, it's Keys Charisma. Keys Charisma charging through. On their back is Carnivorous Pace. Carnivorous Pace is coming with a huge run. Arrogant Bobble, looking good, riding well. Two lengths away, it's Calico Chuckle. put it all the way up there? <laughs> Pounding down the course, it's down the door. Very deep yeah, I don't in know second position. A length away, it's so. Keys Charisma. Carnivorous Pace in fourth position. Arrogant kind of Bobble seems to be in a good position. Satisfactory impact, putting on the pressure. Down door, once again in the front spot. Travelling on the rails, it's Very Beat. Keys Charisma in third place. Two lengths away, it's Arrogant Bobble. What? What? Still going, it's Down Come on. Door. Very Beat in second position. From Keys Charisma. Okay. Carnivorous haste to the outside. Down door in first place. Arrogant Bobble in fourth spot. Engaging with Carnivorous haste. About to run for glory, it's down door. Very 
beat this fly car from nowhere. Down to oh, we got third! Yeah! From very beat, arrogant yeah. double gets oh, the yeah, third place. Too. Great positioning. Thank you. I worked super hard to actually get that positioning. <laughs> that was rough. We got our more gold, but we need even more so that we can breed to those studs. Just breeding. So we'll keep racing. They're ready to go at Sewell Meadows. Arrogant Bobble, the horse that punters favour. <laughs> Off and racing, and first away is Mars Octagon. Amnesia Revenge, also off to a good start. With 1,500 to run, it's Arrogant Bobble. Engaging with Semaphore Daffodil, just in front of Different Protest. Two lengths behind, it's Time to Travel. The yeah, so if you want to do multiplayer races whenever, just let me know. Pressure just behind. I work Green, all this week, so I'm Central Time, I don't know what protest. time you are. I'm Central Time, so I work from 8 a.m. to 5 p.m. Uh, Monday Fast through Octagon. Thursday. And then I'm actually going to Michigan on Friday over the weekend so that we can go look at apartments and stuff. So I probably won't be around a whole lot this weekend. But after that, I'll be back home and kind of have the same 8 to 5 schedule. Just has a margin over Fast Octagon. Superb Stone in 7th place. Two lengths away, it's time to travel. 600 out and it's arrogant bubble. Different protests. Watch the front. Angelic Accordion in third. Then Amnesia Revenge. Arrogant Bobble keeping the lead spot. Different protests in second place. Dual I like the controls are just very basic. Two lengths that way I don't have to remember so much. Revenge being pushed by Fast Octagon. Continuing around the track, it's Arrogant Bobble. Different protests in second. Just in yeah. front of Angelic Accordion. Arrogant Bobble at the front. Different protests in second spot. On their back is Angelic Accordion. Arrogant Bobble holding the lead. Arrogant Bobble breaks their hearts. Just in front of Different protests. Angelic Accordion in third. We got the win. Woo, woo. Okay, so how are we going to do on this one? We are still down there, so... Do this one again. Okay. 
horses and jockeys ready for the off at Sewell Meadows. Arrogant Bobble, the favourite in an interesting lineup. Gates crash back, and the favourite gets a magnificent start. Ernest Ruby going well on the outside. Arrogant Bobble keeping the front. Satisfactory I chance. I still have it's to make a schedule. Then Ernest Ruby, two lengths behind. It's brush. I kept around. saying, oh, I'm going to sit Some down and look at my schedule. And I chance. never did. In the lead, travelling on the rails. It's Arrogant yes. Bobble going hammer and tongs with Ernest Ruby. Next, it's Summer's Storm. A length away, it's Brush Boomerang, Plot Cake in seventh. Two lengths away, it's Lucky Lava. Satisfactory chance, once again in the front spot. On the inside, it's Arrogant Bobble, just ahead of Ernest Ruby. Two lengths behind, it's Brush Boomerang. Continuing around the track, it's Satisfactory Chance. Travelling underneath horses is Arrogant Bobble. One length away, it's Ernest Ruby, followed by Brush Boomerang. They straighten up for home, and it's satisfactory chance. Arrogant Bobble feeling anxious as the finish approaches. Two lengths away, it's Ernest Ruby. Race hunts up for the winning post. Ernest Ruby in second position. Arrogant Bobble first at the finish. Satisfactory chance in second place. Third at the line, Ernest Ruby. Oh, she leveled up again. Nice. She's actually almost max leveled again. Okay. So it's just the breeding now, right? Yeah. Alright, so we just gotta get enough money. Debating if I want to train her. Because that's going to cost money. So, do I want to train a level 10? Or what? Hi, Seth. What you listening to? Oh, heard. I am streaming. I know, right? Yes. Imbus is here. Yeah. Yeah. She's in the chat. Oh yeah, she says hi. <laughs> Excitement building here at Sewell Meadows. All eyes will be on the we favorite. We can multiplayer now if you want. So she was streaming Star Stable. She said that she was cranky and that she was mad because Star Stable was making her grind Off for money. Arrogant Bobble gets a confident start. <laughs> right there is Sacred Serpent. 900 meters to the finish, and it's Arrogant Bobble. He is like, oh no, Monster not grinding. Wants the front, clashing with Elephant Antelope. Alarming brilliance. Next, Arrogant Bobble keeping the lead spot. Monster Decision in second position. Elephant Antelope pushing hard, followed by Dream Sight. 600 to run, it's Arrogant Bobble. Monster decision, moving right on the outside, putting up a challenge to Metal Cloud. Elephant Antelope controlling the race. Monster decision in second place. On their back is Metal Cloud. Elephant Antelope out in front. Arrogant Bobble wants the front, and then it's Monster decision. Yeah, after this race, I'll at the 300 meter mark. It's Elephant Antelope. One link behind, it's Monster decision. As they straighten for home, it's Arrogant Bubble. Elephant Antelope in second place. Two lengths behind, it's Green Sight. Arrogant Bubble takes a fantastic win. Elephant Antelope second. Monster.
Costa decision. He gets the third place. Is he distracting in the background? Just want to make sure. You're gonna go with the dog in the kennel? Okay. Sounds good. That way you at least have a bait, buddy. Yeah, I think I clicked one too far. Please save me at two slices of the barbecue. And that's it. You can have the rest of it. Okay, so... Get five steam achievement. Yeah, all the achievements, the achievement hunters. Waiting for the start at Three Oaks. Lunar King looking to make bookies unhappy. Raven Apple hoping for an upset. We gotta do it, friend. We got this. Ready to rumble. Raven Apple. Begins Ready with a to rush. rumble. I love that. Drama of the start. The favorite has missed the jump. Robust risk maintaining the prime spot. Metal match in second, pushing hard in front of Flamingo Deal, just behind its champion down. Looking to make it from Walker's situation. Lunar King in seventh position, and then it's Raven Apple. At the 1100 marker, it's Robust Risk. Metal match in second spot. Flamingo Deal in third spot. A length behind its champion down. Raven Apple in fifth spot. Lunar King at the tail of the field. With 800 meters to go, it's robust risk. Metal match. Once Those the are sorry, so five minutes away, I'm like, it's I don't Raven want to here. Walker's situation. Yeah, started on the outside from Lunar King. 
starting around like 200 or 250 meters is really good, but in here, they start going around 100 meters, and if you don't, they will just fly right past you and you are striking the front. Oh, Mid -match. In I see that. Oh, yeah. I don't know why my horse is so fast. No reason my horse. I've never seen that. I've never seen that race either where it's all turn. What are we doing, NASCAR? I know, that was awful. It was just like, turn a little bit straight, turn a little bit, a little bit more. They would never do that to a horse, ever. No! That would so <laughs> That's awful! Uh, sides of Amnesia Biscuit. I love your horse's name. <laughs> it sounds kind of threatening. <laughs> Mine is very, very threatening. It's Millionaire's Lawyer. Like, that's scary. No, that, that's, uh, that's, you know. Despair quality is pretty bad. Please rate you, the quality of your despair for... Calico Visitor is so cute, though! Oh no! Calico Visitor! Yeah, Calico Visitor is really cute. I love him. They're ready to go at Three Oaks. Millionaire's Lawyer is where all the money is in this race. Oh no! Amnesia Biscuit not in with much of a chance! <laughs> Poor little Amnesia Biscuit! Aww! And they're racing. That's just rude! Be nice to Amnesia Biscuit! Her horse's name is Amnesia Biscuit! <laughs> Life choose the position. Life choose. Seth asked if you forgot that it was a biscuit. Yeah, it did. It, it did. Yes. It has a flaky memory. Sure, you're not pregnant because he already has the dog. Imperial hexagon in eighth position. Amnesia Biscuits leading the race. Fog the one true pregnancy test. Two lengths behind, it's Calico Visitor. Fancy Flicker. These Next turns are awful. Imperial they like really are. I've never seen these races before. Place. Still going. Here's another trick. Just get out in front of the other horses and just stay there because... Calico because reason. Imperial Hexagon. I can see why. Yeah, it doesn't always work, but sometimes it works every, like like sixty percent of the time. It works every time. Sapphire in second spot just has a margin over Calico Visitor, struggling with Fancy Flicker. I've used up so much stamina just keeping up with the pace. Are you really? Sapphire scraping the paint off the rails because they keep trying to keep up with you. Just behind it's oh. I just did like one big burst and my horse is just. I don't know why. Pounding down the course, it's my horse shouldn't be doing this. These horses are just all over the place back here, too. Oh, yeah, no. They're trying to pull a rich strike. Amnesia Biscuit. That race was awesome to watch, though. Like, really no was. lie. Did you see him turn and look back at, like, Epicenter or whatever? He was yes! just like, GET WRECKED! He was yes! mad about it. Oh shit, oh shit, oh shit! <laughs> no! Oh no, I'm gonna lose <laughs> the race because I was screwing around! Oh no! Oh no! <laughs> I lost the whole race because I totally forgot to hit the button. Amazing! <laughs> oh, <no. laughs> Calico Visitor <laughs> won! <laughs> I'm glad Calico won. I totally get distracted at the last part of the race and start talking about other shit, and then, like, I forget to hit sprint. 
We were like, oh wait! <laughs> Clearly the- Yay! I'm number seven. Oof. Oh, my odds are- Oh, jeez. Who we have chosen? Labyrinth Jester. Revenge Fjord. Revenge of the Fjord. Horses and jockeys ready for the off at Three Oaks. Doubt Destiny, the favorite for this race. That's my pony. They just call it poor. Stand by, and they're racing. Doubt Destiny is off to a fabulous start. Hunters would be happy with themselves early. Revenge Hill. You're out there, aren't you? The race continues with Down Destiny. Turned I was not going to get stuck again. The front, and then it's official adjective. Thimble stutter. I'm riding a back horse. With company heart. Down Destiny still in the lead. Poor Collider in second position. Pretty much horse. in these races, you need to ride every horse. Just ahead of Labyrinth. Pretty much. Because <laughs> it's a really short race. Down Destiny. Holiday in second place. Two lengths away, it's Revenge Fuel putting up a challenge to Labyrinth Jester. Still going, it's now Destiny. Four Holiday wants the front. Three lengths away, it's Labyrinth Jester. Next, it's Revenge Fuel just ahead of Company Hearts. Ah! Now Destiny maintaining the front. They're going! They're going! Ah! I saw them going! Why like, would ah! we start on a turn? I think I barely squeaked third. Good for you on the win! I was like, press, press, press. <laughs> Space bar. It just picked up. <laughs> Closing camel. Aristocratic snail. Am am night and burn. Boss baroness. Yeah. She's the boss. Sounds like something for excitement building here at Hildare. High hopes for the favorite remedy reaction. Start for the favorite, Heavenly Cactus, breaking in. 
Then as the race moves on, it's Remedy Reaction. Boss Baroness in second. Then Jubilant Rush pushing hard in front of Heavenly Cactus. Doing battle with Closing Camel. Next, Stay up here. In front of the boss. Do not let them pass. Setting the pace. Remedy Reaction not feeling good where it is. Closely followed by Heavenly Cactus. Detect no. Dimension. Next. Being overwhelmed by Boss Baroness. Oh no, they're catching us! Ammonite Inferno. <laughs> At the 1500, it's Detective's Dimension. Remedy Reaction in second spot, just in front of Heavenly Cactus. A length behind, it's Aristocratic Snail. Boss Baroness traveling on the fence. Remedy Reaction in first position. Jubilant Rush wants the front, really followed turn. by Detective's Dimension. Two lengths behind, it's Heavenly Cactus. Remedy Reaction holds the lead. Three lengths behind, it's Aristocratic Snail. Putting in a strong bid with Detective's Dimension. A length away, it's Heavenly Cactus. Do you have a full green bar up top? In control. Don't waste that. I always do like two little spreads. Aristocratic Snail. Don't waste your green bar. Detective's dimension. Every time it fills up, do like two little. Around the track, it's jubilant rush. Remedy reaction in second has raced away with a clear lead from aristocratic snail. Two lengths behind, it's detective's dimension. At the top of the straight, it's jubilant rush. They're gonna come bite us. They're gonna come bite us. Go, friend, go. Go. Run. Jubilant rush is running for fun. They're gonna get us, friend. <laughs> yes, we beat the boss. <laughs> We beat the boss! Second, aristocratic snail in third. It makes it super stressful if you look back and watch some gain on you as you're going. Oh yeah, no, yeah. It... Take the most work. Venture act. Striped Sorrow. Sad. in the uh, the discord that waiting for the start at Hill Dare punters hoping for a comfortable win for the favorite Thimble Talon Oh god, my I broke away so badly. We'll have to win for both of us. I see going. You can do it. It's like a horse girl movie. <laughs> You're gonna go from the very end. Just behind, it's musical. I do have a back running horse. Might actually be cool with this. Oh yeah. Like technically, it should be cool. game. Talent struggling in this position. A length away, it's Strife Sorrow up against Adventure Act. 800 out, and it's Budget Act. I just can see your horse around. In second position, and then it's Musical Fortune. Just has a margin over Adventure Act from Strife Sorrow. Budget Band maintaining the lead. Thimble Talent on the rails. Five lengths behind, it's Musical Fortune. Continuing around the track, it's Budget Band. Thimble Talon in second position. Three lengths behind, it's Adventure Act. Budget Band controlling the race. Thimble even again in a better position. Damn it, come on! No! I finished just outside the money. Oh, Damn it. No. Oh, I see that. Yeah, I did! I was just like spamming the space bar. <laughs>
perfect. The how final you run stretch in this game is like so stressful. It's like ah. What were you asking about the Discord? You cut off, like, right as you were saying it. I put your now streaming that currently. Well, it works, but. I just saw where you messaged me, like, I promise I only put six emotes. <laughs> there was only six, and they were friendly. Nightbot was on your cake. No cap block. No more than I don't even know how. Many. We have frivolous foam joining us. Frivolous Monday. Ready to go at Kildare. Baby Baron, the one to beat. Double difference, hoping to prove the punters wrong. They're ready and away. A great start for the favourite, Baby Baron. Also running well is Drama Perfume. Baby Baron in first place. Legendary Dollar stretching now, trying to keep off Frivolous Foam. Then double difference. 900. It's a short race, Lestine. Drama Perfume in second place, just ahead of double difference. Baby Baron trying to outdo them. Next, it's Legendary Dollar. Beth Banter covering extra ground, putting up a challenge to Baritone Betrayal. Frivolous Monday leading the charge. Double difference in second. Drama Perfume in third position. Baby Baron next. Baby Baron. Oh shit, oh shit! There they go! Why did they start at like 350? I don't know! Baby Baron, dictating the pace. They just decided to go! Well, I have no back of this. You can beat them, friend! I did not beat them. They're just pretty. They just like flew past both of us. In second place, double difference in third. Moon's giraffe. <laughs> Some of these sound like star stable names. Like where they just put two random names together. Oh yeah. Because you pretty much have to build the names. Yeah. Horses and jockeys ready for the off at Yarra Park. Appealing shirt, favorite for the win. They actually mo capped the the jumping. Like in the free roam, they actually move. Yeah. The horse really always cool. throws their feet out to the right every time. 
Nuts. And the favorite gets a magnificent start. Moon's giraffe right behind. Appealing shirt still You know, I'd be field. interested to see Just if they ever like come out with steeple chase. Pushing hard in front of instrument drama. That would be really cool. Uh, folks from Australia would like that. Something that maybe like works spots. Moon's giraffe dictating the anything in mobile version. In second spot, followed by stately ballerina. I mean, maybe. If they would just like bring what they have. In sixth position, instrument drama pushing past horses. Pounding down the course, it's poetic page. Moon's giraffe wants the front on their back. Is Purse. appealing shirt. Like mobile is usually the fourth spot. A length behind, it's erratic unicorn. Poetic page still in first position. Moon's giraffe in second position. Stately ballerina in fourth place, just behind its instrument drama. The race continues with. We're gonna have to start. Appealing shirt in second place. Uh, we have a huge turn right before. Stately ballerina and then it's Moon's giraffe. Two lengths behind its erratic unicorn. Poetic page erratic. in first spot. Stately ballerina in second, putting in a strong bid with appealing shirts, going hammer and tong with erratic unicorn. The race continues with stately ballerina, two lengths away, it's appealing shirts on their back. Go! Erratic got this, go, go, go! We have to beat the bus. One of us has to do it. <laughs> you did it! Yes! I think we've mostly one or the other of us have beat the bus. Yeah. Pretty good. I'm getting sleepy again, so I might like second to last. You're getting sleepy like after this like set we could call it because like I have work more and it's eleven. No, I slept all literally before <laughs> I don't know how many It just didn't. Excitement building here at Yarra Park. Charismatic Cannon, the horse that punters favor. Crimson so glad I'm trying to beat the odds. I love all the stuff. Like you should really do like just a sign stay and just put it under sign. And they're off. Crimson Honestly, Cheetah would love to just early. do a sign stay. Right up there with the leader. We can just do a science week. I mean, if you Crimson Cheetah. Whatever. That'd be really cool. I'd like to I just want to be like a science communication person. There's really not people like that and then not enough know a single person that's really doing it for position two lengths away yeah basic beat. modern animals like there's a lot of people that are like i have cats here's deer like you know but there's nobody out there that's let's talk about modern current animals that you might have out in front. Crimson, a lot of bird not in their ideal position boulder lost in third place heads up and down with flickering explanation not that I'm minding the like this shitload of people that are real. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Oh, I forgot. Oh, they're here to bite us. They're here to bite us. We gotta go, I friends. I forgot to hit. I know. Oh no, I'm gonna die. No, they're gonna get me. I'm out of sprint. Oh no. 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 Oh, to beat us. I was so busy talking, I didn't even pay attention. Yep, that's how they get ya. I was like, oh yeah, I'm just running along, you know? And it's like, here's a couple- Just running along, having a great day. 
It's the last race. I'll bet everything. But that's not You're gonna bet everything. the best. Yeah, it's not the best. It's not the best. It's not the best strategy, but I'm gonna do it. <laughs> okay, is it just me? Or is like... Like with the talking. It might be my headset trying to like, die. Waiting for the start at Yarra Park. Chancellor's Crab, the favourite in an interesting lineup. Jagged Mount, only with an outside chance today. Yeah, I think my headset is like trying to weird stuff. Because like, I'll hear you say like two words, and then like, you don't say two words. Chancellor's Crab, off to a magnificent start. Again. Bookies are nervous. Adamant Ambassador is right there. Chancellor's Crab in control. Adamant Ambassador in second spot, then Jagged Mount just has a margin over Mighty Display. A length behind, it's Sun's Blackberry. Next, it's yes. Astonishing Answer. Chancellor's Crab keeps the lead. Jagged Mount looking comfortable in that position. A length away, it's Mighty Display. Astonishing Answer in fourth. Adamant Ambassador next. Chancellor's Crab still outrunning the rest. Astonishing answer, gaining momentum and flying through, struggling with mighty display. Two lengths behind, it's Jagged Mount. They straighten up for home and it's mighty display. Chancellor's Crab wants the front. Jagged Mount, not happy where it is. Mighty display, continuing to show the way. Chancellor's Crab takes the race. Astonishing answer, second. Mighty display in third. you with your bank we did we try we tried super hard parsnip popcorn is my horse's name after that. But yeah, so I will see you and anybody else who wants to play or anything tomorrow. Bye.